let's, let's start with the message that for this year we have really quite wide range. We have possibility to choose from many many OS uh, systems uh, for our customers. Like uh, for example, like my home screen, uh, you probably know it. We have uh, this year like new 8.0 generation. We have possible like also for UK market there is a Google TV. Uh, there is Android TV for, for other markets. There is Google TV. Uh, we have also uh, there is a new system Fire TV in MX800 uh, series. And uh, what, what to mention? I think Google and Android TV. Everyone knows. If you have some questions, just let let me know. Uh, for my home screen, I will highlight one one thing, and it's accessibility. Because we all, uh, already for two years cooperating with a German association, association of blind people and partly sighted people, and uh, improving this this feature in our system. Uh, what to say? This TV can really easily guide you through initial setup of the TV for uh, like partly like uh, uh, sighted people, right? So then you, you can hear like I will make it more loud. And if, if you will push the button five because it's quite special button, but then you can feel the like the little little, little, little thing. And, and you can you can be really guided to set up properly the TV. Uh, and TV has also quite a special feature that it can educate you what button it is if you are visually uh, we are like right now split in. So that's the main message and I will ask <laughs> Andrew if he can uh, like tell us more about this fire TV. Series. Okay, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, so this is a Panasonic TV with Fire Fire TV built in. The perfect customer experience. Uh, what I'm going to explain to you is a little bit about the, the OS and then go into the unique features that we're releasing with this TV or we built specially for Panasonic. So first of all, the home screen. Um, this is a personalized content. We understand that these days there is an enormous amount of content being thrown uh, at the customer. What we want to do is we want to make that content available so the customer can have access to all the content that they want but make it as easy as possible for the customer to find what they want. So what we allow is up to six profiles and then we have rows of personalized content so that they can, uh, any um, integrated application that's uh, installed on the device will have rows in here and then the customer can easily find what they want to watch. I also want to go up and, and show you a little bit about the live and linear TV integration. So this allows all your content, whether it's broadcast, satellite, cable, or, or terrestrial, or linear channels which are part of applications. So if I scroll down here, first of all, obviously, uh, the, your guide and your recents, what you've recently watched. If I scroll down, you'll see live sport, breaking news. Uh, these are your satellite channels, so I can go along and, and see my, for example, HD Plus content. But I've also got rows from Prime Video channels, Art, Freebie, and I can add different applications that have linear content into here. I'm just going to go into the satellite cha channels now and talk a little bit about some of the features that we're releasing with Panasonic and, and about the Panasonic remote. So the first thing that I want to show, obviously uh, this is a Panasonic device, uh, we're very keen on uh, making sure that the pitch quality aspects of a Panasonic come through. So we've added a picture button to the remote, and this is a unique Panasonic remote. It's different to the other Fire TV remotes, and it's got some special buttons on it. First of all, there's the picture button, so I can go in here if I want to switch to filmmaking mode, switch to normal, I can do it very easily while I'm watching the programs. The same thing I want to draw your attention to is the guide. If I move into the guide, this is a universal guide that contains all your linear content. So you don't have to go into separate guides anymore. Everything is in one place. I can see my favorites at the start, then the satellite channels, because I was in satellite. If I press the guide again, I get a series of filters at the top. So this allows you, particularly recent, uh, the majority of customers watch a small number of, of channels, It'll be in the recents if they've watched it regularly in the past. We've got favorites, you can favorite channels across all your different content uh, providers and they'll add in there. I can then go satellite if I want to, to Prime, Odyssey Freebie, and then I've got HDTV and audio, some extra filters there. 
So this allows a very quick way of filtering the guide when on satellite channels and I scroll down, I can then scroll down for further information, I can scroll along as you would in a normal, normal guide. If I go back to the live player, you'll see that we've done exactly the same thing for the um, channel list. We have the filters along the top, so you can very quick, very quickly find uh, the content that you want. You can see in recent years, I've got satellite, I've got art, I've got a mixture of different sources in your recents. So you can, if you have uh, channels that you watch across multiple sources, you can find them very quickly. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is the My App button on the remote. So the My App button on the remote is a customizable button. Are you familiar with My App button on, on a Panasonic? Nope. Right. Uh, so normally what you can do is I'll hold down the My App button so I can set it. Well, I can come down here and traditionally you go in and you just pick an app. So these are the apps installed on the system. So for example, there is a Netflix button on here, but I could select Netflix. And then when I press the, the My App button, it would open Netflix. But I, we can take that a step further. So I can come down here and we've got more actions. So I can select there. And I could maybe go to notifications if I wanted to, or go to profiles. So what I'll do is I'll select, go to profiles. Now when I select the My App button, it opens the profiles so I can select who's watching the TV. Uh, an additional feature to this, because we have Alexa very uh, tightly ingrained within our operating system. So if I show me the weather, I uh, ask uh, Alexa to show me the weather, Alexa will come up and show me what the weather is in the area that I'm at. Now maybe this is something that I use very often. I have an Alexa command that I, uh, I use, and maybe I want to put that as my, my app button. I can do that, so if I hold down the My App button again, you can see that tell me the weather is here as the recent voice command. So I can actually set a recent voice command um, for my My App button. And this also applies to um, Alexa routines. So I could set a routine that closed my curtains, dimmed my lights, put on some nice background music, all connected to the My App button. You'll see if I press the My App button now, because I've set it to the weather, it comes up and it gives me the weather. Okay. And the user data is sent to Google. Sorry? The user data. Uh, yes, yeah, so, so we believe in personalization. There's a huge amount of content that we're, is available on this device. Over 5,000 different apps in most countries, up to 10,000 apps in some countries. So what we need to do is we need to curate that for the user. We need to personalize it. And because of that personalization, there is some data collected, but you can turn it off. If you don't want your data collected, you can go into settings, and I can quite easily go into the settings and turn off collection of data. But then you won't get the personalization. And that is what is the key in the heart of this system. Any other questions? Did you say that the, um, the universal guide and the, the My App button, specifically with the Amazon Features Assistance, fit to the Panasonic TV? So the My App button, yes. Yep. Uh, and this remote, yes, the yep. Panasonic remote, which is different. Yep. The guide features, we're releasing them on this particular model, uh, but it will be backported to other models at some time. There are several other specifics also to Panasonic TV, also for example, also the H6 process on Panasonic. So you have the Panasonic picture and sound quality together with the advantage of the Fire TV system. Okay. Thank you.